My bass house songs used to sound like... But I found a few things that made it sound a little bit more... Let me show you. First, set the BPM to 126. Write out a, a piano chord progression, all playing eighth notes. These are the chords I used. Add a piano lead playing octaves to perfectly complement the progression. Ambient pluck. A dark harp, arp melody because foreshadowing is used as a literary device that- Little baby bells. Fast hats on the perk. And altogether this sounds like- And although this is a great way to start a track, in order to have that hard-hitting drop, we must put the piano melody on the most obnoxious lead you can think of, but then harmonize it again. Poop saw? a pretty lead made with a secret sound. Fast snare that repeats. And the pre-drop vocal, obviously. All together, this sounds like... All the best buildups create tension through rhythms, risers, impacts, and sometimes if your buildup is good enough, you can even get away with not using drums at all and actually lead the listener to an unexpected. And I know you're gonna have a great drop, nay, a great song. So give its release the attention it deserves. That's right, DistroKid makes it easy to upload to streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music. But you're saying, Ash, that's a lot of streaming services. That's a lot to manage. Not with Hyperfollow, which is included in your DistroKid subscription. What's Hyperfollow? <laughs> Glad you asked. It's one page that has all the links to all the different places Places that your song is uploaded to all through one link as soon as you upload your song you can start promoting it with Spotify pre-saved links through the hyperfollow page like I'm doing with my new song right now then once the song is actually out it'll automatically switch over to all of the different links on the page and once you sign up for DistroKid you can find your hyperfollow page in the goodies menu underneath a promo yourself so sign up for DistroKid right now and get 7% off as well using my VIP link. As always, thank you for sponsoring the video, DistroKid. Now, let's make a... House kick. House clap. House ride. House mouse. Wait, what? Who's writing this? Open house hats. To make them cut through the mix, make three different tracks. Put a different open hat sample on each one, pan one a little to the left, a little to the right, and keep one centered. Then adjust the volumes till they sound good. And copy over those fast hats from the intro. I don't know how to make that house drop impact thing, so I just got one off a of splice. You can't know the- Find a bass that sounds bad by itself. Layer in another bass that sounds bad. Until you put corpus on it. 
Layer that with another bass that sounds like it threw up because it had too many white claws last night. And again, poop saw. And just like you and your friends, you're all better when playing together. And a sound that represents panic. Because you angered a bunch of meat riders who confuse opinions that they don't agree with as a personal attack. Instead of copy-pasting the eight bars of the drop that you just made, copy over just the drums. Copy over the throw-up synth, change the rhythm a little bit, and turn up that disperser. Look, now your drop's an interesting call and response instead of being boring and repetitive. Projection is a psychological defense mechanism where you have- Sprinkle in a few little splice samples to splice, I mean spice it up. Don't forget the vocal chops. And make sure to set aside eight beats before the drop for a fake out. All together. Wait, this isn't you, Ash. You've been making bass house all wrong. You're just following what everybody else does. Don't you want to expand beyond that? Yes. Yes, I have been holding myself back. You're right. Do what you want. <gasps> like making an 808 a lead. Yes! Reveal the secret sound from the intro. Ooh, what if I did halftime drums? Come on, man. You're not Bishu. Dude, just play the sound. And subscribe so you don't miss the video where I show you how to make it. Sometimes you gotta embrace when you can't make something exactly as another artist every time. Look at it as exploring your own creativity instead. Also known as, this is my brain when it tries to make a bass house. <laughs>